All right, so today we're going to continue with generating numerical patterns using two given rules. So we started off with this yesterday. And then we did our vocabulary. We worked on a couple problems. Today we're also going to talk about identifying the apparent relationship between corresponding terms, all right? So we'll generate the two numerical patterns and then we're gonna identify the relationship as well. All right, so vocabulary again that we're gonna to have to work on, excuse me. There we go. All right, so for us to be able to identify the relationship, we want to go ahead and generate or discover what the rule is. All right, so we need to go ahead and figure out what is the rule. So I'm looking at my x-axis. I'm going to focus on my x first, and then I'll focus on my y right after. All right, so the x starts off with 5. Six, seven, eight. I'm noticing that they're adding just one number. All right, so the rule for x here would be add one. Because when I add one to five, I get six. Add one to six, I'm going to get seven. Add one to seven, I'm going to get eight. All right. So x is add one. And then for the y-axis, it starts off at 15. And then the next number is 18. Now, another for me to figure out 15 and 18. Hmm. So we're adding threes. 15 plus 3, 18 plus 3, 21 plus three, 24. So counting by threes, all right? So I've noticed that the X on the X axis, the rule is add one. And on the Y axis, the rule is add three. Now, what is the relationship between my X and my Y? How do they correlate? Do I notice a pattern with the X and the Y? So I'm looking when X is five, y is 15. Hmm. And I'm thinking x is five, y is 15. Well, I know with my multiplication tables that five times three is 15. All right, let me see if that's gonna work with the next set of numbers. When x is six, y is 18. So I also know that six times three is 18. And if I add three on here, it's gonna give me 18. And then three times seven is 21. And three times eight is 24. Hey, the rule right mm -hmm. here is three times, right? Because y is three times x. So I'm gonna type that in here. Oh, I have to come out of present mode and I'll just type that. Give me one second and I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom out so that way we can see. So right here, the rule is three times, right? So I can also say y equals three times x, right? And the reason I can say it is because it's not only true for the first set of numbers, it's also true for the next set of numbers and the 
next and the next. I've got four set of numbers and each time my Y is three times my X. Okay, so that's the relationship between my X and my Y axis. Notice, first of all, I looked at the rule for the X, looked for the rule for the Y, and then I went ahead and saw, tried to figure out what am I noticing between the X and the Y axis and how they come together and how they relate, if there's a pattern. And I want to see if that pattern ties in with every single other set of numbers. All right. Remember that my X and Y, this is an ordered pair. A pair means two and they go in a particular order. X before the Y into the house and then up the stairs. All right. And so I can make this upper case so that way it's not that confusing. I can make my X and uppercase X as well. All right. So yesterday we worked on these ordered pairs as well. And then we looked at the pattern when the X was adding up by twos, five, seven, nine, and we knew the next number was 11. So I'm gonna type that in here. And then on the Y axis, always remember X, Y, X, Y, the X comes before the Y. We've got zero, two, four. I can tell they're counting by twos and I know the next number is gonna be six. And so we went ahead and typed that here. Six. All right, so that, that, those were our ordered pairs. And we went ahead and then plotted them on the graph. These ordered pairs of points actually tells you the ordered pairs. Remember that we're always going X before Y, all right? So this is the origin, the start, the door of the house. And then we go into the house on the X axis and then up the stairs on the Y axis. So the first set of ordered pairs, five, zero, I'm gonna count five on the X and zero on the Y. So one, two, three, four, five on the X and then zero on the Y. So it's right there on that line. And I'm gonna bring it right about here. All right, and then for my next set of ordered pairs, seven, two, I'm counting seven into the house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and two up the stairs on the y-axis, one, two. So this is gonna be the point right here. And that's the destination that I wanna take it to. Seven, two, right there. All right, so our next set of ordered pairs, nine, two, I'm counting nine on my x-axis, starting at the origin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'm counting four, up the stairs on my Y. One, two, three, four. Right there. Okay, so if I had another point available for my next set, you know, so I'll go ahead and count 11 on the Y axis and then go up the stairs on the Y axis counting six, which is right here. And notice the pattern. Okay. So right here, we want to continue with the order and then using the rule as well and looking at the relationship as well. The rule for this x-axis says rule add one. And so I know this is my x-axis because x always comes before y. Also, my x is the input and my y is the output. All right? So X always comes before Y. Here, we're given the rule, makes our work easier. All right, so add one, which is one, I mean, excuse me, two, three, our next number is gonna be four, and the number right after will be 
life. And the rule right here, add two. So we've got two, I mean, three plus two, five. Five plus two would give me seven. And seven plus two would give me nine. For my list of ordered pairs, remember I'm always writing my X before my Y. So we've got two, three, and you can see that ordered pair over here. Three, five, the ordered pairs over here. Seven, four, seven, I'm going to go ahead and do that here as well. Four, and I'm going to put a comma in between. Seven to separate the numbers. Here is five nine so about five i put a comma to separate my numbers in nine also plotting so the first two have already been plotted for me two on the x and three on the y the next set of ordered pairs three on the x and five on the y the next set is four seven so i'm going four on my x one two three four and then seven on the y one two three four five six seven right here i'm gonna grab that point right there and plot it right here and my last set of ordered pairs five seven i'm counting five on my x in the house starting at the origin or the door of the house one two three four five and i can see it right here and i'm going up nine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So right there. Right about here. Oops. I got the wrong thing. So if I look at the pattern in between the relationship. So here, when x is, if I add, when x is 2, y is 3, so that's one more. My next set of numbers is 2 more. My next set of numbers, 3 more. My next set of numbers, 4 more. So I'm noticing that pattern and the relationship. So it's increasing by 1 for every pair, ordered pair, set that I'm seeing. All right, so as a class today, we're gonna to work on the relationship between ordered pairs as well. I'm gonna go ahead and share this down. All right, so being able to identify the relationship between the corresponding terms, all right? And then we'll also be generating two numerical patterns using the given rules. So we're building up as the days go by. And that's it. All right, you can go ahead and turn on your 